Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris Dennis here, putting specialist and short game performance coach. So today we're back out at Woolley Park, so big thanks to John, and we are joined by the cameraman. James is behind the camera. So we're doing risk and reward today, so any of you who've played Woolley, you will know the first hole, you can try and be a bit more aggressive, or you can play the safe way, which is play left of these trees, and then hit a mid iron into the green. We've thrown up, James is going to go aggressive. He is now an honorary member. So as the honorary member, he's going to show us the line. He's going to have to play this more closer to the trees and try and fade it around there. So again, depending on your handicap, you want to be thinking what is the percentage play. If you've warmed up, if you've hit some shots over on the range that they've got here at Woolley, you may then think, right, I can be a little bit more aggressive. More so if you're playing off the yellow tees because it does give you a lot better. Opens angle. up the angle more, doesn't it? Opens up the angle. So, James is going to lead us off. He has got his three wood. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. It's not my three wood though, Chris, is it? It is not. James is doing another series, as you will see. And he's got a full set of pings in today. So he's got the uh, 425 LS Tech. See, James is really going to be cutting this close. That's perfect. And James isn't normally a fader of a ball, but he has played that. I well. think that's perfect. Didn't hear any trees? No. Right. I'll play the safe way then. I broke my tee then. Oh. Disappointing. <laughs> Devastating. Yeah, but as a new member, he was given some tees. Yeah, safe as houses that one. Should have about 150 left in. Yep. Fairway. Okay, so got to mine in the fairway. That is the shot we are looking at. So we're gonna use James's new oh. fancy. 149, I told you 150, didn't I? More yeah. to the back, about 155 shot down win this one, Chris. 155. I think for you, really. Just a soft nine iron. Yeah. And you should be just over the old hill. Nine iron, downhill, just right of the flag. Yeah, that's middle of the green. Yeah. It's a certain par. Very safe. Yeah, a bit too safe. But you are playing it safe, aren't you? There's no point going for a flag if you're going to play it safe off the tee. True, we've played it here, we're hitting the green, we're trying to get our round started. So we've got over the hill. You can see James is there, so... Slightly better strike, and that's the shot, isn't it? I mean, it's still only a pitch in. I think the risk has paid off there, because if we're talking strokes gained, I would hope to put it inside your ball now, so then my make percentage on the putt is going to be severely higher, which is the whole point. Yeah, exactly what James said there. Obviously, he's Are you impressed with that. I am quite impressed with that because I've never seen you play a fade. Really, we're used to the similar uh, left shot. Uh, that's normally my kind of shot. Um, but James has left himself. I'd probably say 55. We will have a look on his GPS motor caddy shortly. But he's left himself a lot closer. So from here, he's going to have a, a better chance of knocking it inside my ball. I'd say I'm in. I'm 30 feet away. 65 yards. So to the back. So probably 60 yard shot. So a 60 yard shot. So 100 yards pretty much closer than myself. I think I had 155. So a much easier shot there. Oof, James. Save that, did I? Never seen him move so quick to save the camera. So a much easier shot. A, a, probably a better angle in to attack this pin as well, James. So what club are you going? 54. 54, so landing it a little bit short. Landed it about 45. The greens are receptive, but I feel like it's not a shot you want to go long with. Quite happy to have a 15 footer that's short rather than go long. Yeah, so he's playing it a little bit short. Hopefully it rolls out. If not, he's got a nice uphill putt to the flag. Like he said, long was dead. And he's played that short, he's turning. Oh. He's lipped out. 
I'm going to probably 15, 15 feet. Long. <laughs> it if is that long. would have spun like the other greens have, then I don't know, probably caught out a little bit there, but we've nearly made it two, haven't we? So Yeah, and you've got a chance yeah. on the first hole. Good, so there, like we say, James has been able to be a lot more aggressive and give his chip or pitch a chance of going in. Whereas for me, it was a case of let me just hit the green, get my round started and get on the move. So very much dependent there. If you have done a warm up, if you have hit some balls on the range and you're feeling confident, definitely have a go at that. As if we look back, James has come over the trees here, but we've got a lot of fairway and a lot of run out here, okay? So depending if you know where the flag is, we can run out a little bit further. It could have hit driver, it would have gone a little bit further, but then it might not have been able to get to the flag. So knowing where the flag is, is one of the big things. And your course might have pin positions, you might have been out, you might be able to see the flag. And if you can, then you can take that into account. So you can see here, I've left myself probably 35 feet. It's a little bit further away than I thought. There's no getting around that you'd be disappointed with that with a nine iron as well. Yeah, so I'd be a little bit disappointed. I've hit five iron, nine iron. It's, it's effortless to get here, but even from this, Effortless? It was effortless, really. It was, effortless. It was like poetry in motion, to be honest. But this range here, 35 feet, people expect a two put, but your tour average, even for those guys, outside of 33 feet, there is more likelihood they're going to three put than they are two put. Really? I didn't know yeah. that. So don't beat yourself up. If you hit it to this, you know, take your time. As long as you're working on the right things with your putting, hopefully your pace will be good. I'm still hoping to obviously two put this. But we can see that James's shot was aggressive. He's gone to around about 12 feet. So James's make percentage, he's got a, a lot higher chance of making a birdie. Still not massively high, but it's a very easy looking par. A betting man, if I was, Ooh. I'd say we're both going to come off with four. Yeah. Because you're a better putter so. than me. I think this is generally what it comes down to, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Especially at the start of a round. He's never made it. Oh, great effort. So, gave it a good chance. Read it pretty well. It was a little bit firm, so I have got, you know, four or five feet left. So, we'll have to make sure we knock that one in. But now we're on to James, who's got a little better look. A winding putt. I honestly thought that that wedge was going to go in. I think the biggest difference for me has been wedges and putter so far. So, more of a short game difference. So, oh, flags are allowed back out. So James is taking full advantage. I just feel like I've got a more, more chance of making it with it out, to be fair. So he feels like he's got more chance of making it. I would agree on, Less of an on that, yes. So James has read that now, used his aim point, he's lined that up. He's got a, a good chance from here. Oh, he's trying to stroll it in. You're taking that, aren't you, from 15 feet? Taking that from 15 feet. He's had a good chance and a good luck of going in. And a very regulation par. Easy four. Easy four. Right. See, what was it? Uh, effortless. Effortless four, that's oh, it. Do you right. want it back in or are you leaving it out? No, I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to follow the trend. Not as easy, I didn't really want that kind of distance left, but that came down to my second shot. But you can see again, two different ways there. We've both come out with the same score, but James's was a lot less stressful than mine. If even you give me this put them. 10 times, I'm probably making two to three of them. You're making one, if that, then from that's... yours. Yeah, so you can see there guys, two different ways if you've warmed up i would definitely suggest the james robinson if you feel confident you're hitting your woods good it, you know you've got that shape you can be aggressive here you've got a lot of room as i said you can see that it runs out and you can get to most pins but if you're not feeling warmed up and you haven't maybe got that distance hitting it to the top of the hill you can see all of the green and that might just get you into your round 
and get you going onto the second hole. So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Look out for next week when we'll be out here again. Also, there's name point clinic at the end of the month if anyone wants to come. Correct, August 29th. Email me if you want to look for some more details. And that's in the description below. See you in a bit.